uh, we're doing it again. <laughs> As if the last one wasn't crazy enough, uh, we're doing it again. So welcome to the Mums Makery Mayfair event. And uh, as you can see, we are very Mayfairy or May Pixie, I don't know. The Pixies, however, are on hand. Don't forget, guys, that they are on hand uh, to help you out. Um, they will work for fudge, especially Haley. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we've got, oh, my God, I'm going to start out. I'm just going to start out by saying never, ever, 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 ever let the Pixies plan anything, ever. <laughs> I just, mm, blindfolds were on the table at one point. I vetoed it, I must admit. I vetoed that. I, I refused to do anything blindfolded, but just what a fun day we've got planned for you guys today. Okay, so... Pixie B, uh, lovely, lovely Pixie B, aka Flingo Face, <laughs> who some of you may remember from uh, the last broadcast, um, is here in spirit, in something. She's in my ear. Um, if any of you saw the, the last broadcast that we did on making eyeballs, um, you would know that I, 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 underneath this, there is a headset and she so I have a pixie in my ear okay a pixie who's going to tell me what we're doing first flingo game okay apparently first we're playing the flingo game so while you guys get your cards and stuff ready um, I'm going to quickly run through fingers crossed run through the event so that you guys know what's going on do feel free to um, comment and chat and stuff there on the broadcast there is a, a live chat um, feel free to hop and make comments if you've got any questions feel free to ask uh, one of the pixies will be on hand to answer your questions and if not then the pixie in my ear will forward me your question if it's something that I need to answer for you well, apparently my sound volume is very faint so let me see what I can do about that Okay, hopefully that might be a little bit better for you. Uh, oh, I think I might have seen the problem. There we go. Hopefully that's turned the volume up for you a little bit. So, um, what, I, what I would like to do now is just quickly run through the event as a whole. Uh, there are two live broadcasts today. Um, the first one is now. <laughs> And then the second one will be at about 3.30. In the first half, we've got a few games. We've got some giveaways. We've got some prizes. And we're going to be doing the first make. And the first make is a freehand make. So it doesn't require a template. It doesn't require um, anything that you shouldn't already have uh, with some basic felting supplies. The list of the things that you need is on the website if you click events and info and then the link for the May Fair event, you'll see that there is a list of, of stuff. So, we are going to get to the first make after the Flingo game and Flingo, uh, this is um, the Flingo cards, I should say, are in the event boxes so to play our flingo game you will have you will need to have uh, an event box but to do the make that we will be doing in this part of the show you won't uh what else are we doing today oh my god it's crazy it is absolutely crazy sorry say that again oh wobbly shelves <laughs> okay wobbly shelves the pixies the dear, sweet, lovely pixies. They are the joy, bane of my life. Um, they are often blamed for everything. <laughs> but they do have this knack of running around the makery and loosening some of the bolts on the shelves, which inadvertently makes things fall from the makery shelves into your baskets. Or so you lot say. I'm not so sure, but okay, we're going to go with this. Now, however, the pixies today have been running around the makery 
and loosening shelves. It's a health and safety nightmare. I'm just going to add that in there. But what that means is that today, things are going to fall off my shelves. Not these shelves. <laughs> Not these shelves. But things are going to fall off of the shelves in the makery and they're going to fall into random baskets. Um, so any order that is placed today has the chance of finding a random thing in there. And knowing the pixies, it really will be random. So, okay. Uh, what's up next? Uh, is there anything else I've got to tell you about in this half? Mm. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to crack on with uh, playing the flingo game. And then if you don't know how to play the flingo, uh, if you've got an event box, you will have a flingo card in there. On there are uh, three groups of uh, fluff colours. And you have to cross off all 15 colours. Not one section, not one of each section, all 15. You need to cross off all 15 colours and then type flingo in in the, in the event chat. We're going to be drawing two winners. So we're going to have two people call out Flingo. At that point, we will stop the Flingo game and put it to one side whilst Pixie Sue and Pixie B confirm your Flingo uh, win. What you'll need to do is you'll need to send Pixie Sue a picture, a screenshot or something of your completed Flingo card. Uh, they will confirm to me and then We'll do that uh, giveaway in the next bit. So, eyes down, look in, flingo cards at the ready. Let me. So these are the sample tags of all of the fluff colours that we have. And what I will start by doing is I'll start pulling out the, um, the colours and you cross them off. Simples. Okay, first up, we have, oh, I wonder if I can do royal purple. It's a high paced, quick fired round. No, I'm kidding. Next up, white. And the next one, dun, 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 dun. pumpkin. This might be actually easier for me to do it this way and then you guys can see all the colours. Look, I had to write this one on, it didn't have a sticker. Pink, that's one of our new colours that's in the shades of spring. And the next one, light purple. And the next. Da, 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 da. For, oh, I can't see the <laughs> fox. And the next one, where is it going to come from? Ta da! Willow. Wonderful Willow. I think my career as a game show host is um, <laughs> never really going to take off. <laughs> Burnt orange coming in like a flash. <laughs> oh, sugar plum is the next colour. I really like sugar plum. And the next one is another one in the purples. What's it going to be? Damson. I think it looks a little dark on the... Um, on the camera, but that is such a nice deep colour. And the next one is sand. Going in again. Bright red. I like bright red. Actually, I like all the colours. And the next one is da -da 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 -da. emerald. And the next 
one is lovely lilac. Not quite sure where that's off to the side there, but yeah. Somebody got artistic with the tags, clearly. <laughs> I know who that is. Terry. <laughs> Arctic Grey is your next colour. And that's the first 15 colours drawn, so anything could happen now. Dun, dun, dun. I need some dramatic music. Warm Brown is your next colour. Or I need some cheesy game show music. And the next colour is... Magenta. Da, da, da. I, I really should not sing or hum. <laughs> I'm doing this. Fuchsia is your next colour. Fantastic fuchsia. Clearly one also that has been done by Terry because it's the fluffs off to the side. <laughs> and your next colour also in the red wheel is cranberry. I, I can't make fluff tags dramatic. <laughs> Next up, Marvellous Marigold. Oh, they're all coming out in colours. Next up, another yellow daffodil. Is anybody called Flingo yet? Next one. Oh, I like me some chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> dun, 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 Chinchilla. Dun, 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 dun. Do you know what? I know. I know who's got me singing this morning. A certain young lady from Fluff Chat, and I'll tell you about that in a minute once we've once we've done some Flingo games. Pixie B will have to remind me because oh my god, violet is your next colour. Another Terry creation. <laughs> oh, where's my first Flingo caller? Next one. Lichen. <laughs> I think B sat there just going, oh my God, get some music. <laughs> Stop singing. <laughs> Next one, Flesh Tone. Another Terry production. <laughs> I said this off the side. And another one from the Pink Range, Hat Pink. Hat, hat, hat pink. God, I've got to be halfway through these now. The next one is... Dun, 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 dun. Mustard. And the next one. Oh, can't believe this is taking so long. Cornflower blue. Oh, 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 hang on. We have, we, we, we have, we have a flingo face. Hold on, hold the phone. That's the first one. Okay, who? Debbie, Debbie Lewis is called flingo. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to carry on. We're going to carry on with the Flingo because we're going to have a second. I didn't tell you what you win, did I? My, my, my assistant slacking. So what you win, if, your car, if you call out Flingo and you do win, uh, you have a completely filled card, you win the first five colours on your Flingo card. That's what you win. Sorry. Next colour. Right, we're going in again.
Uh, it was hot pink. The one before uh, mustard was hot pink, somebody was asking. The next one is bright peach. I had to write, write this one as well. My shocking handwriting, bright peach. That's Pixie Haley's favourite colour. <coughs> oh, two at once. Which one do I go for? I'll go for this one. It fell on the table. Ash Brown is your next one. It clearly wanted to be involved. It's like, pick me! And your next one is bright yellow. Such a summery colour. Oh, I can't help getting two at once here. Hang on. There we go. What's this one? Oh, natural cotton. And the next one is, oh, we've got two tags the same. It's cranberry again. Right, get rid of that one. I think the pixies have been at the wine. <laughs> that was really good. entertaining <laughs> it's little things in it uh, I just pulled out the wine one there we go right oh dear right okay next oh god I'm getting two again next one evergreen deep green I don't think the colours are coming out too well on this camera. They're looking a bit dark, but deep green. Which I keep calling Christmas green. Come here, little tag. You cannot escape. Deep purple. And the next one is chugga, 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 pastel blue. Another one that's stuck on the side. <laughs> you just get halfway through and go, do you know what? <laughs> I'm going to stick them on the side. <laughs> ginger is your next colour. Gorgeous ginger. And the, and the next one is... Dusky pink, dusky pink. I've got so, I'm getting worried now. I'm getting really worried because I haven't got that many cards left. So I'm worried that you're all going to shout Flingo on the same one. <laughs> all right, off white is your next one, off white. running out of room to put these down oh another beautiful color from our shades of spring pack spring green and the next one na 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 natural linen The next one is bright green. And your next color is another green, autumn green. There was a click in my ear. Did you say something? Was that a, was that another flingo? No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. Keep going. She says. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Flingo. We have our second flingo. Carol Mitchell. Okay. So what I'm going. So what we would like you to do if you wouldn't mind, please, is send a picture of your Flingo card to 
Pixie Sue, who will verify. Uh, Pixie Sue can uh, correspond, I don't know, communicate with Pixie B, who I think was writing each one of these down. I'm going to put all of the cards that we've pulled to one side. Oh, look, while I'm down here, I'm out the way. Look, look at the bunting. This, this lovely bunting was made by Pixie Haley. And hang on, I've got, a, where am I going? That way, there, this one. <laughs> it's all back to front. So this, this one is Mr. Fox. And Mr. Fox, who is also on this card, is a PDF project which can be downloaded from the website. And she's going to be making all of these characters as PDF projects for the website. And they're all made with the Sunflower template set. So it is a really, really nice, there we go, pop those down there, it is a really, really nice additional project that you can make with the sunflower set and you're going to be able to make all of these. Where is it? Look at the hedgehog. I think he's my favourite. He looks a bit Billy Idol, although Paley didn't know who Billy Idol was. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, he looks like Billy Idol. She's like, huh? <laughs> Okay, so if you want to send your picture in of your Flingo card, um, uh, take a picture of it with your phone and then just message it over or message it in. I don't know if you can put attachments in, fl in fluff chat, but message it to Pixie Sue privately. Um, however, if Pixie Sue, if you want to just send her a message and um, you guys can sort that out, that'll be great. Thank you so much. Right, so this morning, whilst I was getting ready, <laughs> I, <laughs> I hopped into Fluff <laughs> Oh, Okay breathe. I hopped into Fluff Chat. I know what's coming, which is why I'm laughing. I hopped into Fluff Chat and it often crosses my mind that you lot are completely bonkers. And never, ever, ever has this been more aptly demonstrated by what greeted me this morning in Fluff Chat. So here you go. I'm so excited, ooh, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to have a fluffy day and I like it, oh yeah. I have no words. <laughs> I, I have no words, which is unusual for me. Usually I've got plenty, actually I have lots of words. Oh my God. That was just mm, absolutely brilliant. I love it. Thank you so much. I, I literally fell off my chair this morning. I fell off my, there was a chair. It's not here now, but it was here. And I watched it, <laughs> I almost fell off my chair. You are a completely crazy lady, but thank you so much. That was so much fun, so. That is what greeted us in Fluff Chat this morning, which, oddly, just brings us very nicely to Fluff Chat. Fluff Chat, there is a post in group, which is the official Fluff Chat post, I guess. And Fluff Chat is the Mum's Makery group chat, which operates 24-7. It's a messenger chat, so you can join it, you can message with other people in the group. It's a live chat, it's messenger. You can join the group, leave the group, join the group, leave the group, join the group, turn off the notifications, which is wise because when they get going, sometimes it is just ping, ping, ping. <laughs> but there is a fluff chat group post or messenger post in the Mums Makery uh, Facebook group. And if you want one of the pixies to add you to that group there or to the 
the messenger chat, apologies, uh, then just put your name down there. Obviously, whilst we're doing the event and stuff, it may be a little bit staggered, but if you want to hop into there, like I said, anytime, it's not just event day, it's a chat group that's always there for you guys to reach out and have a laugh with each other. Okay. We have a few new products which we'll be launching today, and we're going to be launching them in unusual ways. <laughs> Refer back to my first comment of never letting the Pixies plan anything. <laughs> All of the products will go live on the website after the second broadcast. And the wobbly shelves apply all day right up until midnight today. So any order placed today, you have a chance of something random falling into your basket. But first, we're going to get straight on and make our first make. And... For those of you wondering what it might be, we are going to make, ta-da, not the heart bit, but we're going to make the ice cream bit. Let me, we're going to make the ice cream. These here. This one's got sparkles on it. And um, if some of you saw my eyeball video, which sounds really weird, you will see that I used nail varnish, UV gel nail varnish and a UV lamp to make eyeballs. And that's what I've done for these sparkles, is it is glittery UV nail varnish that I have dabbed all the way round and then bopped it under a light to set it. And that's how I did that. So I'll just, you know, the end trick, I just give you it, it, it the, the front. So <laughs> our first bag, for those who have the event box, you will have this that says make it kit number one. And everything that you need to make the ice cream is in there. For those of you who don't have the event box this is a free hand make and there was a list of tools and supplies that you will need to make the ice cream just from your own stuff so you don't have to have the event box for this make okay in in the event bag yep that's it and if memory serves, this is all weighed out uh, for you. Let me get this in. So you need some sand, sort of sand. This is our sand colour, which I'm going to be using, and that makes sort of the cone. I'm, I've got some buttercream. The colours that were in the bags are completely random. You either got chocolate, vanilla or strawberry um, and then you've got the red we'll be using a little wire for the cherry as well so what we'll do first is we'll make the cone and to make the cone you're going to need a very 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 technical piece of equipment ta-da you're going to need a sellotape holder, roll, inner, this bit. <laughs> Words. <laughs> so I think this is uh, six grams, I believe, of um, fluff. But you want to pull off. Let me get my, I'll get my pocket scale. Obviously, you guys can eyeball it. The tape holder. You want enough fluff that just fills it loosely like that. So you'll have an extra bit left over, which I believe should be. I'm just going to weigh this out. So what I'm using here is four grams and then there's two grams here. This has come out quite nicely for me, but I'm going to do it in bits. And you're going to use the sellotape like you would a template 
um, you'll probably find useful things around your uh, around your house that you can use to make uh, make bits and bobs. Pop it in, let it come up around the edge. Oh, there you go. Some apparently somebody's using a bangle to make their uh, to make their circle. So as long as it's about this kind of size, I think you should be all right. And I'm just going to start pulling bits off, letting the fluff come up around the edge of the sellotape or bangle or whatever you're using for your template. If you have the sunflower set, you could probably use the circle from that. Sunflower set's getting a good out in today, isn't it? And I'm just going to loosely pack all of this wool. I'm going to put my edges in first. I'm using my 40 spiral and I'm on my, my foam with my flat mat. Oh, and apparently I've got two felt toppers. <laughs> and I'm just dotting my needle around. Put some more in just very loosely filling up this template. There. It doesn't have to be pretty at the moment. We're just getting it in. Getting it in, I think, is the uh, is the tricky part. Once once we've got it all laid down, it goes a lot quicker with felting. I'm going to be using a multi punch tool just for speed. So as you can see, I've I've popped it all in there. It's it's fluffy, but it's about to the top of uh, the sellotape. I'm going to go up a needle now to my 38 spiral and again just go all over it compacting it down and the goal is here just to get this really firmly felted. There we go. So that's sort of my second pass with my needle and I'm going to use the clattering machine now and just go round. Again, I'm not going too close to the edges, but this will help me felt the middle really quickly. Uh, no, I've pulled off, this is four grams of um, wool and this is two grams. So if you've, if you've got, uh, so you're using about two thirds and one third if you're sort of free handing it. If you've got a little pocket scale, I'm using four grams and two grams. It's worth pointing out that the questions that, that you ask and, um, and my answers come about 10 to 20 seconds apart. <laughs> Because what I'm doing goes through the the Facebook, I don't know, and um, comes out. So whatever I'm doing is about 10 or 20 seconds ahead of what you're seeing. So just bear that in mind. <laughs> so I'm working around and I'm just going to keep going over it. These are, these are a great tool. Um, I don't recommend using them in particularly in the smaller templates. Um, there's also this bad boy here that I've got, which is a three needle handle. And I find this to be really good as well. So the goal is that we are just going to felt this down. And I think what it might be a good idea to do is 
for me to do this Speedy Gonzales style as quickly as I can. I should have blue peated it really, shouldn't I? I should have had one that I made earlier. And then what I can do is I can do maybe one of the prize giveaway draws um, while you guys, because some of you may be using single needles and stuff, so it will inherently just take you a little bit longer. So there's my, my circle as it is at the moment. So I'm gonna take it out of that template and I'm gonna absolutely give it some welly. And there's no gently, gently, you know, just use the tip of the needle with this. Um, I'm absolutely felting, felting it really firmly. So I'm gonna keep going over this. And you can see that it's already compacted down by like half. I'm even gonna turn this over and felt the other way as well. That tape is just to get us our basic shape. And I'm going to put it back into uh, the template now and just go around it again. This is the bit that probably takes the most time. I'm going to come in with my multi-needle and go all the way around that as well. So whatever you do to the middle, you need to make sure that you do it around the outsides with a single needle as well. So it's all, all in line. I think this probably is the bit that requires the most, uh, most aggression, <laughs> most felting um, exuberance for getting it felted down. Obviously, I'm doing it super, super quick. Um, oh, there we go, and it's off. So you can see it's really starting to come down going to go over it again. Not quite as heavy as I did last time because it's starting to firm up now. You just want a nice sort of solid circle. So that's, that's about where we're at. You do want it, you do want it a little bit fluffy. Don't, you know, you haven't got to have something that's like concrete because we still do have to shape, um, to shape this and we will be felting it down a little bit more. But if I get you a, a close up there, so you see it's, still a bit fluffy, it's still a bit spongy, but it's sort of a circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold making now and give you guys um, time to sort of catch up for those who, who are just using a single needle. So I'm going to pop this at the moment to one side. And what we'll do is we'll carry on and do something else and then come back and make this. So the first, um, the first giveaway that we're going to do, if uh, some of you will have noticed that there are some giveaways in, um, in the group and last time we tried to do them all on the same day. <laughs> And that was bad. <laughs> we got there, but it, it was uh, it was a bit bit rushed. So what we've done is this week, uh, throughout the whole week, the pixie giveaways have been 
running all week long and they closed last night at five o'clock. Now, if you have missed any of those, um, those giveaways, then I will be running a giveaway today and it will start pretty much, it should have gone up now already. So in fact, what I will do is I'll tell you about my giveaway, which is the Boss Bonus Prize Giveaway. <laughs> and, ta-da! <laughs> this giveaway is, uh, it should be on the group now, and it will close at 3 p.m. today. So you've got plenty of time. Once this broadcast ends, you can hop over into the group and give your answer. And it's really simple. I want you to guess the number of balls in the beehive. <laughs> so guess the number of balls in the beehive. And that's for the boss bonus giveaway. And the boss clearly being not me, but being my chihuahua, <laughs> who's called Pappy, who will be joining us later, I think, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> so how are you guys getting on with your, uh, with your makes? Are you, are you firming up? I know, I'm so... <laughs> Don't worry about doing it too firmly. As long as you've got that basic shape, we can, we can work with that. Um, I wanted to do something that was uh, quite summery. Um, so we will, we will do this make over the entire course of the uh, first broadcast rather than trying to do it all in one go. So what's up next, boss? <laughs> the pixie in my head. Pixie Haley, okay, Pixie Haley's prize giveaway was for, uh, what was it? Finish the sentence, wasn't it? And the sentence was, without the pixies, the makery would be. And then you finish the sentence. And some of them have just had me roaring. <laughs> I, think I think Pixie Haley's, Favourite one was, without the pixies, the makery would be like ice cream without sprinkles. Which is sweet. Pixie B has been um, having a look through the comments, as have I. We were having a good chuckle about them this morning. And one of the comments that she's picked up to read is the, uh, without the pixies, the makery would be like champagne without bubbles. See, I opted for without pixies, the makery would be peaceful. But it's just me. <laughs> Another one. With... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting prompted in my ear. Apparently, without the, without the pixies, the makery would be. without a giant swatter. It's here, I still have it. I still have the pixie pacifier, just in case. <laughs> it's still here. <laughs> okay, um, any more? Oh, oh, that's sweet. The makery without the pixies would be like a Christmas tree without the fairy. Or the pixie, if you put a pixie on, oh, putting a pixie on top of the tree. <laughs> They're all sat there now going, oh no, what's she thinking? <laughs> so those are some of the comments um, that have come out on, uh, on the thread. And we will do, I will get my phone, I will unplug my phone. And I will do a random number, random number generator. Do we know how many um, entries there were? Pixie B. Oh, there were 94 entries. 94 entries, which I should know because I numbered them all last night. But 
Nice. Okay, so we've got from number, oh, there we go, from number one to number 94. Generate number, number 46. Number 46 is Pixie Haley's winning number for her prize giveaway. I'll put that back down there because I need to draw more numbers in a minute. So, we're going to come back to the make. Uh, apparently, Lynn, you're number 46. So, congrats. And your um, sentence, that's the word I was looking for, your sentence was, it, without the pixies, the makery would be overflowing with fluff. This is very true. So, okay, we're going to go back to our ice cream make now. And like I said, I mean, it's, it's all fluffed down. And the reason that we've put so much wool into this is um, to bulk it out for this next process. And it's round, so just pick a point. And you're going to roll up this end really tightly, which leaves that end you see how that's making a little cone so you're going to roll up the bottom end very tightly and i'm going to use quite a i'm going to use my 38 spiral and i really am using a driving roll it back this way drive 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 just to hold it in place and then pop my finger in, pull this over, get my finger out the way. <laughs> and then just kind of stab down. So you get this little cone shape. This lovely little cone shape. And then bring in your next bit of fluff. And I'm probably going to take off one third of this. Oops, get that out of the way. And stuff it. Your cone will dictate how much you need here, but you're just going to stuff your cone a little bit just to give the inside a little bit of uh, sort of padding so it will hold its shape like so. I'm just going to do a few little stabs just to hold that down in there. That's all that needs. Then this bit, if you imagined, if you, if you made a scoop of ice cream and put it on a cone, that's the sort of shape that we're going to make next. Now I do that just by folding and folding and folding to make a little, uh, it's like a little uh, wonton parcel. You know, those little um, wontons that you get from the Chinese. It's like, it's a little, it looks a little bit like that. So it's a little bit bulbous. I'm just holding it together. So you've just got this ball loose ball shape. That is then going to go on here, roughly. I'm using a light needle and I'm just going to attach it. All the way around. So if you wanted to do like an, um, a ball ice cream, just make this bit a bit bigger, do it in a different colour and it will look like a, uh, an ice cream ball. Uh, an ice cream scoop, that's the word I was looking for. And then you could add sprinkles or whatever. There. So that's the sort of thing 
that you're going to end up with is your little cone shape and this little ball. So, what I've got to share with you now, I'm going to leave that, talk to the pixie in my ear and ask her what's next or what else we have to share with you guys today. Let me just finish making, right, there we go. Okay, so also in your, for those of you who got the event box, um, I really wanted to make it a, really feel like a village fair when you opened the box. So in the lid of the box, um, there's my one of my jam recipes. It's a very basic recipe, but it's really good. And there's some jokes and what else? Ah, there was some bunting. So for those of you that got the event box, you've got this little pack. And inside, she says, not being able to work a bag. There we go. Inside the bag is some bunting tape and three pieces. Of bunting and again the the bunting color uh, is been completely randomly picked so you either got uh, pink purple or blue and you get two of these and just as a, a little kind of idea of what you could you could do with that little bit of bunting is I've got my daisy bunting and my cupcake bunting this was made from the cupcake template and it's a little bit 3D I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's a little bit 3D and I put some swirls on the top this daisy is the one that is the large daisy tutorial and you make this one from the snowdrop template set um, it's the snowdrop petal that makes all of these uh, petals <laughs> and this one there's a tutorial for over on the youtube channel uh the youtube channel please do subscribe to the youtube channel um it is uh it's where i pop all of the free videos and basically everything all of the make it widths and make it widths are all of the tutorials that you can use making it with existing template sets so that one is there it's called large daisy and this one over i think this might be my favorite i really like this one this has been done uh, as a kind of two layer. You've got these where I've held the template on the bunting and just felted a little bit of wool into the shape right through the bunting. And then you've got the actual daisy which is sitting proud of uh, the, the bunting. So I made a daisy and then I've felted it onto the bunting. So there's three very quick ideas of things that you can do for some beautiful bunting for your home. Okay, let me pack this up. Pop that under there. So we'll come back to our ice cream make now. And this colour for the cone that we've used is our sand color and next we're going to make the frosting so this is my uh, this is going to be my color of frosting and I'm using buttercream the color that if you've got the event box the color that you get will have been random so it will be either chocolate vanilla or strawberry what we're going to do with this is make a big sausage and I will explain the technique um, which is really simple. We're going to make a very long sausage. I found for this I needed a sausage that was about uh, 60 centimetres I think it was to get the sort of height. I mean obviously I'm giving you the techniques in this you can go away and you know make it however you want but 
this uh, this sausage is about one centimeter in diameter. Let me get my hand out of the way. Focus. There we go. Uh, about one centimeter in diameter, and about sixty centimeters long. I have to. I'm trying to do this for memory because the wonderful notes that I wrote myself <laughs> are in the other room. <laughs> So if I seem a bit, uh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> to start, oh, hang on, let me try and focus this camera. There we go, that's a bit better. What I do is I just get a little piece. It really depends how this comes. Um, you might be lucky and have a longer piece, but you want to make a sausage that's about that. So what I do, I use a very light needle and I just stab all the way along and then just start rolling it up like that. Oh, I just spotted a question. Is the red for the cherry? Yes, the red is for the cherry. It's not very often I actually spot the comments. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm leaving this end very fluffy because this is how we're going to splice it onto the next piece. And this doesn't need to be felted firmly because you just, you want that. Um, I'm going to roll it in my hands. You know, this is the sort of thing that, that we're going for. And then to sort of join the next bit, I've just pulled off another piece, elongated that out, lay those two over and a few stabs lift, a few more stabs and lift and then it should join it. Actually, I'm going to join that a little bit more, it's a bit thin. So a few stabs, lift, and a few more. And then you can roll up over where that join is. So the next part of this process is just making this great big long sausage. And I am really looking forward to seeing how you guys decorate it um, after the fact. There are a lot of ways that you can that you can decorate these. You can put sprinkles on with those little seed beads, which I tried to find earlier. I opted for a glitter nail varnish because apparently I was go I was going through a phase of nail varnishing everything the other week. <laughs> So again, I'm just rolling a few stabs and then rolling it, rolling it in my hands. You want to try and make it, it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly even, this sausage. Uh, you may have bits that are a bit thinner than others and that's okay because those imperfections will, yeah, they'll look fine. It's not going to come out completely even. So once you've rolled it in your hands, just, I'm just going along and stabbing it a little bit more. And then you're getting something that's starting to look like this. And we're just going to keep going until I've used up all of this wool, which if memory serves, because I don't have my book, is about four grams that I've used in my in my sausage. So again, I'm joining another bit just by overlaying. That's a bit thick. No, it's a bit thin. <laughs> so there we go. I hope that you guys are, are all having a fun day so far. I said it's been a bit mental here. <laughs> a close-up of the daisy bunting, that will be interesting. 
Um, yes. Let me ponder on how I disassemble what I've put up <laughs> to get the camera to end. <laughs> what I might do is uh, take it down in the break and then I can show you in the second broadcast my wonderful and lovely assistant Pixie B will remind me to do that. I've got something stuck in my flat. There we go. So again, I'm just carrying on with my sausage. And this is a really nice uh, way uh, to do some frosting. There are lots of different cupcakes uh, around, courtesy of Pixie Sue. Thank you, Sue. But I made this one. And uh, let me pop it on the close up. I made this one and you can see that the swirl is very very similar to the swirl that we're doing on the ice cream so there's another um, you know another make that that you guys can do with this sort of little rolled frosting technique and obviously you can go as crazy with it as you like you can um, you know you can put sprinkles on it and you can put a flake somebody's feeling ambitious <laughs> so we're just rolling it tacking it down and I don't think I've got a tape measure here so I'm going to use up all of this and hope that <laughs> and hope that I did it right <laughs> so there we go rolling it in the hands and you can also roll it on your mat too um, yeah. whatever whatever works for you is going to be the best way so I've got a little bit more not much so I'm going to hold that fluff over that fluff Join those two bits together. So elongate that a little bit. No, nope, too thin. Sorry, I do talk to my <laughs> I do inherently talk to myself and I tell myself things as I'm felting, so I uh, I do apologize. There we go, roll that up. I know that some of you are going to make some incredible ice creams. Apparently, according to uh, the voice in my head, uh, somebody has suggested rolling it on your jeans apparently works very well. So there you go. Another top tip. Oh, the close-up is slightly blurry. Hang on. Ta-da, focus. There, okay. Hopefully that will work. So I'm almost there with my sausage. And then we'll be good to go for wrapping it round our cone. The bit that I am dreading is coming after this. Because it involves glue. <laughs> glue. Some of you may know that glue is not my friend. Um, at the best of times, glue is not my friend. And if I positively can stick myself to a thing, I will. However, this is extreme gluing. Because it's not just gluing, it's gluing and live telly. <laughs> And Pixie B is not helping me right now. <laughs> She's just laughing at me. Oh, right. Okay, so I think we are almost there on this sausage, this endless sausage. 
Uh, just roll it a little bit tighter. I possibly would spend a little bit more time on this, um, but obviously time is ticking away and there are a couple of more things that I want to share with you this morning. So we're going to do, I'm going to wrap the sausage. I reckon that's probably about, about 60. No idea. And then you're going to get your ice cream and your first, your sort of your fluffy end, it's going to make that fluffy bit a tiny little bit shorter. You want just maybe an inch of fluff on the end that's sort of real frizzy. And then I put that little bit of frizz just down by that front bit right there and then I stab it down into the cone. Like that. And that's just your anchor point. Now I'm using my real light needle because we don't want to be felting this sausage. What we want to be doing is um, just lightly catching a few fibers. So what I will do is just bring it around so the whole idea is that we bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, and then as you come to this one, you go up and you just follow it and keep going. So as you do that, a couple of little stabs around the base of the cone, a couple of little stabs in the top, just to really lightly tack it in place. A couple of little light stabs there, a couple of little light stabs there. And this ball that you've made in the middle will help support the swirl as you go up. You may need to add a little bit more on the top of here, but you're going to have to play that by ear as you go. This light needle is my 40 spiral. So I only do three needles, or I only really use three needles, which is my 40 spiral. And if I, if I could never have any other needle, if I only ever had to have one needle, it would be this one. Although it's a finishing needle, it is very light and it's great for petals and things because they are so delicate. I find that the larger needles can be a bit aggressive. So my 40 spiral is the light blue. I use a 38 spiral, which is a little bit more of a workhorse, which is the purple top. And then uh, this is a 36 star and it's an absolute beast. I will rarely use that uh, needle with, especially with, with this wool as well. So we're just gonna carry on round and carry on up that ball. Couple of light stabs in between those layers, just catching just catching those fibers right on the edge. And as we're going up, we're using this ball to support the first sort of wider part of the cone. But then as we come up, we're also going to start coming in. So we'll wind it just a little bit, a little bit tighter. Like there. I hope my finger's not in the way. So, round and round and round she goes. So I am just very, very lightly. And I'm bringing it in. You can, I hope you can see it sort of come, coming in and in nearer and nearer the center. Um, probably not because I've got all of this left to go and not much room <laughs> left up here. <laughs> I think I might have overdone it on the fluff. So no, I won't be roll I won't be using it all, but it's better to have too much of a sausage. It's better to have too much and we're gonna, we can cut it off. 
so it will be fine. So I'm going to get right up to this very, very top bit and then I'm going to give myself about an inch past where I think it's going to end. So rolly, 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 that's probably going to be uh, where the top of my cone is going to be. So I'm going to come past it and snip it off. I've got all of this left. I have no idea why I've got all of that left. <laughs> so continuing to go round. And round again. I'm just going to make it. Right up to the top. This isn't playing. And then this bit, which actually I've got a bit much, I'm going to cut a little bit more off. This bit is going to go round and then I will shove it down in there and felt that. So round and round and then tuck that. Oh, no. Round and round, tuck that in. felt like so and I'll come back and just reorder this a little bit but there we go a few stabs down phew <laughs> there's my little ice cream ice cream okay So I've brought it round at the top and then just stuffed that end bit in and felted it down onto the top of the ball, which has given me my little nub of ice cream at the top. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause making that there. Put that down there. Okay. You can see with with this one that it's a bit thinner and we're going to refine, we will be refining the cone in the next bit of making. Sure. Okay, as I, oh, I must have hit the wrong button. <laughs> Completely hit the wrong button, which gives you a really nice preview because this is the next thing I was going to do. As I mentioned earlier, um, we're going to have some new products uh, that come out today. And unfortunately, I just let slip the wrong button. <laughs> so it's because I'm trying to look this way and I work things over here. My peripheral vision isn't so good. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, um, some of you uh, may have seen in group recently that uh, Nikki, aka Naughty Nikki, Nikki Preston, has posted a couple of videos. She did one on making musical notes on a bookmark uh, and stuff like that. So, me being me, I reached out to her and I said, you know you like making videos. She's like, mm, well, kind of, like, do you want to do me a favour? And she's like, okay. I said, right, I'm going to send you a thing and I want you to video yourself unwrapping it. And she's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. What is it? I'm like, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I said, I just want you to, to just video from start to finish what this thing. And she's like, okay. So she has done this and you've just seen what it is. So this will now be all the more funny for you guys because you know what it is and you can see how wildly inaccurate her guesses are. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is uh, she took about 10 minutes to, to go through the whole thing and I've edited the footage uh, for you guys to have a giggle at uh, the launch of the first of three new templates coming today and I will let Nikki explain. Hi everyone, Nikki here. I had a very, very strange conversation with Sam the other day and she asked me if I would do a video um, of something, but she was very vague as to what it was. And this arrived in the post today. Um, 
oh oh my goodness and she wanted me to video me opening this thing whatever this thing is so, <laughs> brilliant so there's a, an envelope that i can obviously i've got to guess something the correct answer is i don't know but look cupcakes wish i could eat those yummy and my name on it so here we go i have no idea what's going to happen so go with the flow and we'll see what happens so, okay so i've got there's a thingy stuck on here that says read this out so i will the rules there are clues in the layers follow the instructions in each layer to gather each clue once you've gathered the clues you can make a guess at the final layer if you guess right you win the thing <gasps> what is the thing oh the thing was a horror film i hope it's not something like that oh uh, yay if it goes wrong you still win the thing yay oh but there will also be a forfeit dad's mean game on lol how does she want me to open this sam you're in trouble cheeky because at the top of this she said if you get this you are showing your age lol i'll give you lol young lady read out the following question then give your answer who am i faster than a speeding bullet more powerful than a locomotive able to leap tall buildings in a single bound yeah. oh my goodness um i don't know spider-man <laughs> i don't know i don't know Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this. It says, fill in the blank. Blank does matter. Long. Blank does matter. This is the next clue. Dun, dun, dun. Fluff. <laughs> Goodness. Read these out. <laughs> okay, I've got to try this. This is a straight face. Read these out. Where do sheep go to watch videos? Hmm. YouTube. <laughs> you, that's fine. YouTube. Oh dear. Why was the sheep arrested? Anybody? Any clues? Why was the sheep arrested? Because he did a U-turn on the motorway. Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, one more. One more. Where did the sheep get a haircut? <laughs> the barber shop <laughs> oh my goodness make your guess it's a fluffy spider <laughs> it's, a fluffy... <laughs> it's a fluffy spider <laughs> i don't know <laughs> That's not spider. Oh. oh my god what is it oh 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 I know what it is. I know what it is. Oh my god! It's a massive sheep, isn't it? Let me put it against. Look, look! It's a big sheep. That is going to be a mate. Can you imagine the amount of fluff that's going to take? That's amazing! Oh my goodness! Okay, the correct answer is a sheep. I still don't get that. Can jump over a building? What? 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 <laughs> oh, it's going to be a horrible forfeit now. The answer is super sized sheep. Did you get it right? Oh, only one had opened it. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. I love it. Thank you, Sam, so much for sending me this. I have loved every minute. Still don't understand the Spider Man clue. You're going to have to let me know what that was. I love you so much for sending me this. It's brilliant. Bye. Fluffy Spider Man. <laughs> no! Super size sheep. Superman size does matter and sheep, sheep, sheep jokes. It was. <laughs> When I watched that for the first time, the 
tears. The tears were real, people. It, I was in bits. She's like, fluffy Spider-Man, no. But as she didn't get it right, she has to do a forfeit. And the forfeit will be coming in our next broadcast, which will, the next event, um, which will be uh, Christmas in July. Uh, we're doing it again. <laughs> Uh, as if this one isn't bonkers enough, uh, we're, we're going to be having another event in July, uh, for Christmas in July, and plans, oh my God, plans, that's all I'm saying about that. Right, during Nikki's little intermission, <laughs> I managed to take down the daisy bunting without uh, completely wrecking the joint. So here's the cupcake, as you can see, it's just felted focus it's just felted straight onto the back so there's the the bunting one with the cupcake this is our sand color and this is the pink next up we've got the the daisy and again as i said this one is the large daisy tutorial that's over on the YouTube channel um, and you know please do subscribe to the channel there's these are all made with the snowdrop template set and then it's it was I used the circle and felted the circle right through onto the back and that's what's holding that on you could obviously glue it and then finally the lovely little Daisy, and this one is the day the dainty daisy set. And as you can see, if my camera will focus, there we go. This one is very 2D, so I held the template on the bunting and just felt it through to the back. And then these are the dainty daisies made whole, and then they are felted through again using that yellow circle felted through onto the back. So we've got the daisy, the dainty daisy, the cupcake from the cupcake template set, and the large daisy, which is from the snowdrop template set. So I'm not gonna put that back there because it, <laughs> it took me ages to get down. This lovely, I don't touch it because, oh, because the last time I touched it, I pulled it off. <laughs> but this huge daisy, this is made from the circle that is from the sunflower and the bluebell skirt petal. And it's just obviously the rounded end is to the outside and the pointy end is to the middle. Okay, home stretch with the make. What I'm gonna do is find the thing what I did put down earlier and to refine this and make this cone shape even more sort of firmer and compact. Now I'll do this very quickly on camera and then obviously you can do it afterwards because we really need to make the cherry. I'm going to go over this with my multi-tool and just keep going round and round and round. So the top staying as it is. And if you notice, it really does firm up and thin down that cone. The other little tip that I was going to show you, for which I have now lost the thing for. No, I haven't, here it is. The optional extra was a Sharpie and I'm not going to do it on camera because I don't feel we've got time. But all of these waffle cone lines are made using a Sharpie and it took me ages to work out which way the lines had to go. So there's that. What you can also do, if I show you on this one, is you can get a pink coloured Sharpie and just run or felt tip and just run it in your groove there around your frosting and that will create 
a little bit of extra shading and darkness and really give you some dimension. So thank you, Nikki, for the uh, product launch of Super Size Sheep. <laughs> Not a fluffy Spider-Man. <laughs> and her forfeit will be coming at the next event, so watch this space. Okay, so making the cherry. Having, oh, there it is. <coughs> You've got a little bit of cherry or bright red colored fluff. This is uh, our bright red. And to make the cherry, and I'm gonna do this very, very quickly, sort of rough it out into a kind of circle-ish shape, which that is not, so. And then just pull the sides into the middle. A couple of light stabs so you have a little package parcel. Pull those into the middle again. And be very careful. A very slow and aimed needle. <laughs> so you've got a little parcel that's sort of roundy. Roll it. Nope, I just flattened it. Roll it in your hands or maybe on your jeans, I don't know. Like so. And you can see it starts balling up. And then go at it with your needle. I'm going to step up to my 38 spiral just to do this a little bit quicker. It might be a bit aggressive, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm going all the way around this way and then turning it through 90 degrees and rolling it around the other way because you don't want to compact one side too much. Then I'm going over the other side and Basically, you want to work over the whole thing. And then once you've gone over the whole thing, just roll it in the hands some more. Give it some good compression. And if you've got some sort of uh, creases or anything like that, you've got a couple of options. Don't worry about it. Put that side down facing the ice cream and nobody will ever see it. Or just very lightly scratch the fibers across the crease and go in like that. So there's another crease, very lightly. Just scratch up the fibers and then lightly, lightly with the needle. Go again with the compression and you can see it's really starting to take a ball shape. And we're working all the way round. I do apologise if any of you can hear the beeping on the microphone because somebody's just decided to phone me. <laughs> it's probably my mother. <laughs> Hi, Mum. <laughs> just in case it is her, I don't know. Back to the cherry. So that's, that's how we're starting to get that ball shape. And again, I've got a bit of a crease there, so I'm just going to fluff up those fibres, bring them down over the other side of the crease. Now I would generally make my cherry a bit more firmer than this, but I am aware of the time and, um, you know, I don't want to bog you guys down so much. Because uh, we have a very special, uh, we have a very special surprise for you after this broadcast, which I will now tell you about while you guys are um, finishing your cherries. So 
uh, there's a lovely lady in group called Kitten Von Mew and she's off her head. <laughs> she's completely bonkers. I love her so much. We met at a steampunk fair. God, what, a few years ago now, I think it was. And I bought a hat from her. Um, the... We, we kind of exchanged emails and, and, you know, we saw each other at various events and what have you. And because this is a village fair, I wanted to sort of, I don't know, give you guys a real fair experience. I, I, I'm not entirely sure how I was going to achieve that from my kitchen, but, you know, it, it, the intent was there. So what I did was I reached out to Kitten and asked her if she would do a live broadcast in between my two broadcasts so there will be another broadcast at 1:45. yes 1:45, and it's not felting it's not felting it is entertainment she is a singer and she does a lot of uh, 40s and 50s she does a lot of uh just everything and she does broadcast, I think, almost uh, do a live video almost every day on her uh, on her page or on her, her channel or whatever. And so do feel free to hop over and give her page uh, a like um, after you've seen the broadcast. But she is going to spend about 40 minutes uh, from about quarter to quarter to two, one forty five until half past two. She's going to be doing a live broadcast in group. So again, watch in group for that little pop up uh, to say that Kitten Von Mew is live. And she's going to be doing some songs and fingers crossed the weather there is as nice as it is here. That's all I'm going to say because she's got stuff. So uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. She is an amazing person. She's got amazing energy um, and I just love her to bits. So thank you, Kitten, in advance from me for doing this, assuming that we don't have tech failure and it doesn't happen, but hopefully it will be uh, it will be a good show for you guys as well. So she's going to do about, I think she's going to do about 15, 20 minutes of songs then she's going to have a quick break where she's going to chat to you guys on uh, the, the feed and then she'll do a few more songs. So really looking forward to it. So thank you very much. OK, so we're going to get back to our what the weight of the cherry. 0.5 grams was the weight of the cherry. Cherry. 0.5. Bright red. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with the weights and stuff. <laughs> it's in my show. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do to finish this cherry is this is an optional, uh, entirely optional. I've got a little. It's not so little. Uh, Twenty gauge wire, I think it is. And oh my god, glue. <laughs> No, I've got my all and I've got my glue. Can we just pretend that I glued it? <laughs> She's like, nope, nope. Put your big girl pants on and just glue it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is this hole that we're about to make is going to be where the stalk of the cherry comes out. So you want to pick a nice bit. If you've got some creases or stuff, we'll put that to the bottom, which is the bit that we're going to glue to the ice cream. And I'm going to make a hole pretty much so my always coming out the bottom because I want to make sure that I've got a, a decent enough hole. And I'm doing this without the aid of safety net, people. There is no greaseproof paper out here that I can put this on. Oh, hang on. I've got a little baggie. That might... No, nope, that won't work. Right, without the aid of a safety net, Sam V Super Glue. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm going to put my little thing in the hole 
get some glue, get that out of the way really quick. Put my stick in and then I'm going to turn it upside down and leave it. <laughs> I did it, I did it. <laughs> so while that's drying and I'm going to move it as far away from me as humanly possible. While that's drying, we're going to do Pixie Sue's giveaway, the first part of Pixie Sue's giveaway. Pixie Sue's giveaway was hook a duck. And we asked you to post pictures of ducks on, uh, on her giveaway thread. And you have dutifully done so. And I believe there is, there's how many? Nine, 90, <laughs> Sue, <laughs> help, <laughs> 90, 90 something. So I'm going to get a random number generator again on my phone. We're waiting for the confirmation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw six numbers. Okay, this is the first part of this draw. Those six numbers, the winner will be drawn from those six numbers in the second broadcast because apparently I have to draw the numbers a specific way. Not looking forward to this. I'm fairly certain that it's 90, but I have to wait for a confirmation. So can you please text or message in group uh, or in chat uh, what your numbers are? Don't forget that there is the boss bonus <laughs> giveaway oh my god this thing's heavy that is happening today and that is guess the balls in the beehive it's a live post uh in group and it will run until three o'clock so it's on the game it's on on the day game it will finish at three o'clock today and then you can uh join me in the second broadcast where i will be drawing the lucky winner but what will you win? Oh, I don't know. I do know. But I'm going to save the surprise. <laughs> Finger. There we go. Don't forget, again, we've got that Mr. Fox PDF, uh, which is available on the website. Using the sunflower template set, you too can create Mr. Fox. And all of these woodland forest friends they're all made with the sunflower set and i believe mr hedgehog is aka billy idol is the one that Haley is making next for you guys i don't have a confirmation yet on how many um i don't have a confirmation on how many uh, i believe it's one to 90 could somebody look please in fact, let me ask, I don't want to look because if I look, I might get the, um, I might nuke the feed and I don't want to do that. So the best thing that I can do in this instance is I will randomly draw six numbers during the break and I will post those in group so that you guys know. And then when we come in this or back in the second half, I'll show you those numbers and we'll do the next part of the giveaway then. So, to the pixie in my ear, is there anything else that we need to do? Right, we do have a Flingo winner. The Flingo winner was, drum roll, Carol Mitchell. Congrats, Carol, you did have a winning Flingo. <laughs> so, you will win the first five colours, 10 gram balls, the first five colours that are on your um, your Flingo card. Once the event is ended, just make sure that I or one of the Pixies have your address. Uh, I probably have it already anyway, but we'll just make sure and we'll get that out to you on Monday. Okay, I think that that is, um, I think that's it for all of the other bits. So the final bit, Dun, dun, dun. The final bit of making 
the ice cream with the cherry. Yes, that's stuck on there now and I don't feel that I'm going to, um, <laughs> that I'm going to uh, stick myself to anything now. So what I would do is I'm going to use my awl again and I'm just going to bend my little cherry stalk over a smidge and I will grab my wire cutters and then I'm just going to take that off like so. So there's cherry, there's ice cream and then all I would do now is glue that onto there like that which I'm not going to do on camera because I feel that I have tempted the glue gods enough. Um, I feel blessed that they've actually let me. Oh, there goes my cherry. <laughs> I feel that I have been blessed enough. So I'm just going to put that there and call that done. <laughs> right, I, I think that's it for now. I will draw the six numbers for Pixie Sue's giveaway in the break and we will carry on with that in the second half. Don't forget, you've got until three o'clock to enter the boss bonus giveaway and that will close at 3 p.m. And then all winning or all ones with the correct answer will be put into a hat. And yeah, I will be looking forward to Kitten's broadcast, uh, which will be at about half past one. So you've got plenty of time to uh, get yourself a cup of coffee and you know, grab yourself some snacks. Thank you very much for spending your time with me this morning. I have had an absolute blast. Glue, yay! And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for spending your time with me and I wish you all a very crafty day.